now to a group supporting veterans and first responders who've given everything to protect us. They need a safe place to heal, bond, and recover with others who know the sacrifice all too well. Here's WFAA's Arnold Payne. There's a certain tranquility here, a refuge from life's darkest stars. Standing tall, having weathered their own storms throughout the years. For the lucky few, if only for a moment, it's a temporary escape from the noises that continue to echo from our past. The easy food store on Elmwood and New York became the scene of a drug raid. In life, it's hard to have a testimony without first having been tested. Fort Worth police officer, Lisa Ramsey. I immediately knew I was paralyzed before I even hit the ground. January 2nd, 2003, Lisa and her narcotics team were in the process of making a drug arrest when... I grabbed the door to pull it open and I heard this pop. I immediately felt pain right here. Ironically, it was the store owner's son, not the suspect who fired the weapon. He told police he mistook the officer for an intruder. This is the remains of the 380 caliber bullet that was removed from Lisa's body. It entered her left lung, clipped her arterial artery, and blew out two inches of her spine. A grim reminder of the delicate balance of life and death. My heart stopped eight separate times. They came out and pronounced me deceased to the waiting room. And then three or four minutes later came out and said, no, we got her back again. But Lisa's fight to live wouldn't die. I'm a warrior. I just wanted to keep living. Despite Lisa's paralysis, her spirit has never wavered and nor has her support. Cody, Sam. Including that of an unexpected lifeline. <laughs> Meet Army combat veteran Cody Phipps. Good, how are you? After crossing paths with Lisa, a life-changing friendship ensued. I just don't know how to describe it. It's a beautiful friendship. It really is. Both ironically brought together by one caring community. Heroes on the Water a life-changing organization designed to rescue those who have spent a lifetime rescuing others. Giving me the opportunity to get out and fish and, uh, you know, just relax and enjoy life. If you'll support this. It's a cost-free program for U.S. active duty military, veterans, law enforcement officers, first responders, and their families. But when life robs us of our very essence, yeah, that ought to work. It's going to be a beautiful day on the water. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Finding contentment can be challenging. Where's the champagne? Yeah. <laughs> but when found, invigorating. I'd like to see us catch something. Let's go to try. Trying quite the understatement. Oh my gosh, this is a monster fish. Good Lord. Oh my God. I thought it was gonna break my little rod. It was bending so okay. bad. I've never seen a bass that big. I think I got a monster. The outdoors and kayak fishing have been an outlet for me to, to heal from combat stress. She is the champion. And everybody she likes to be around people that make you feel normal, make you feel like you're part of the group. And that's a big part of what we do here. As well as providing a safe place to decompress. I'm not gonna go to a shrink. What do they know about getting shot? When was the last time they had a gun or a knife pulled on them? Yeah, I've got us on this thing. I wanna to talk to somebody who's actually been through something, you know? And Cody's that person for me. Exactly why this hero, who's coping with his own post-war traumatic brain injury and stress disorder, drove nearly 900 right. miles simply to put his hero. We we're having some good conversation. On the water. It's been an awesome opportunity to, to have a mentor and to learn, somebody to learn from. Interpreting Mother Nature is totally subjective. However, heroes on the water intent is clear. 
These outings are a time for reconnecting, for healing. When you hear a fish come to the surface for air or something, it's just very peaceful and healing for me. There we go. Beautiful out here. Being on the water. And out here with great people. It's a beautiful day. Paddle. Fish. <laughs> heal. In Santo, Texas, I'm Arnold Payne. In just 16 years, Heroes on the Water has helped more than 61,000 veterans and first responders and more than 15,000 members of their family.